you're watching Art Genossen and I'm sitting here with... M.O.P. Art Genossen! Art is the flight. Art Genossen! Guys, it's a pleasure to have you here. And you've been touring together for years. You've spent time in the studio recording for a long time. Doesn't that almost feel like being a married couple? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That you're a married couple? No, no, no. It this is my nigga. Like that. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all. Old no. sister Blake. <laughs> I mean, recording don't, don't for, it something that a lot of people, well, everybody should notice by now that MOP, we, we're not a rap group like a put together a rap group. So before we were rapping, we were friends. So it's just still, it still feels the same. Just, just friends in the studio, vibing off each other, making great music better than everyone else on the planet. That's what you, Still, if you spend so much time together, you <coughs> must come across arguments as well, or are they all, only good times? Oh yeah, I curse the ass out all the time. Every now and again. I get tired of them. Every I, now and again. I get tired of them. Get, I love the death. That's my brother right there. You know, you know when you get tired of somebody, it's you know it's just. Spread apart for a little bit and just, you know, you go in your corner, you go in your corner. But that's it. It's nothing, when you get mad at your brother, just go to, go to your house. That's it. <laughs> go home. That's it. I'll have tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I mean, that's it. Easy. Easy. So you said you were friends for a long time before. If Lil Fame was a woman, would you be dating Oh, mother. Whoa. <laughs> Where are we going with this here? Come on now. Oh. Next question. Please. <laughs> Him a man, Buddha. Him is a man. Him is a man. <laughs> I told you all beautiful women got flaws, and here's the here, here, oh, here's perfect example. <laughs> Don't lose your shit. Come on, it's something two crazy. points right now. Don't You're losing lose. points here, lady. Okay, Tay, she was at a nine, now she's at an eight. We gotta get a two points point back. Yeah, but you know, these days in the industry, you see no, no, men no, men no, no, no. Yeah, all right, look at all the goddamn. You don't know what to stop. You don't know what to stop. You need to stop. We're not industry. I just told you that we were friends before we started creating music. We in all the come streets. In the streets. So we all come from the same neighborhood. So the industry doesn't apply to us. That's we'll what I like about we'll you guys. We're gonna give you another actually. chance. We're gonna give you another chance. Okay, start all over again. So what was it like to grow up in the streets and in Brooklyn? It's like everywhere else. Hard times, ups and downs, you know. Do what you got to do to get by. You attach yourself to a family that 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 covers you, and you cover them. And you guys, you know, do the best that you can to get out of it. That's it. That's everybody's story in the urban community. You ever been to Beirut? No. It's a little Have bit you? like Beirut. Yeah, it's a little bit like Beirut. It's just there's more Jordans and stuff. Coming. Yeah. Beirut, Beirut with Jordans. A little more flat. A little more fashion. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, talking about fashion, how fashionable do you think yourselves are? Well, me, I'm more simple. Right now, you got me on more one of my higher fashions. Mm. I never wear anything. He's wearing like gray today. I'm that's gray that's gray high gray. fashion. That's high fashion for me. Not as usual, black on black. Well, yeah, I normally do black on black, and I'm not. I'm not one of those dudes that's driven by what everybody else says is high, because I'm special. You need to know that. I know that. Okay. Mm, there Who's you in go. charge of the nice. outfits on the uh, on the stage? The outfits. Yeah. No, you just put on what you put on. Yeah, okay, cool. You're busy. This is real rap. This ain't this ain't gimmicky. We never do a gimmicky. This is real rap music. The the lyrics we spit are from our heart. The way that we perform, uh, we just feed off of each other, and we we hand it to the people like that. It's not no gimmicks in that. There's no costume changes in the MOP show. No. No, probably won't be no costume changes. No. Mm. <laughs> That's cool because you're 100 percent real. That's right. That's right. So if I think of M.O.P., I always remember your great songs like Anya from Cold's Eyes. And I want to know, the laugh at Cold's Eyes in the beginning, whose laugh is that? That's, Billy. That's probably me. Yeah. yeah. Can you give me an impression again? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I probably can't. I probably can't. It just gotta. It just gotta happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. So uh, it wasn't set up. It no, it's never. It's never set up. It's, yeah. always, it's always like that. Billy laughs to hide his pain. Yeah. <laughs> hurting inside. He's hurting uh, inside. Going through a lot. Billy hurts right here. Group hug, just me and you. Here. Oh. Group hug, just me and you. Oh, see there you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Everybody, everybody. Oh. Group yeah, it's just me. Oh. It's the group hug. Billy's just representing me. the group. The group. You just got a group hug from the whole MOP. Okay, that's very kind. <laughs> so, which of the any of songs do you prefer? The one, the original one from you, or the one featuring Teflon and Buster Rhymes? I love the original. The original was pretty. The brand new, that was brand new energy. 
that shit just came together perfect. So the remix was not but you know, it was, it was easy to do, do the remix with the original shit. That remix had a lot of people on it. We didn't put them all on there. We had a lot of people on that remix. Yeah. A lot of great artists on that remix. You know, C Murder, we had Mob Deep, we had a lot of people on that remix. Yeah. You know, but uh, Buster Rhymes, Remy, Teflon, of course, the whole team made the cut. Great record, too. Though. Great record. Great, great, great record. I actually like both of them. Yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Although, I once heard you saying in an interview that you don't think it was that, such, that much of a good song compared to others. Um, and yeah, the song itself. Well, I'm weird. I got weird thoughts. Like these guys are the real musical guys. Here. I just, I just, they come, I come in, they tell me to rap, I rap. That's all I do. If Billy don't like the song, it's a hit. It's a hit. Right? <laughs> but I, just, I just don't, because I got, I got a different thought when I think about music. Like hip hop is hip hop. I grew up hip hop. I, I love hip hop. I'm, I am hip hop, but I like to listen to different styles of music. You know, different, yeah, it's something that's so far away from hip hop that I can't focus all day on hip hop. And I'm glad that I got these dudes around to help God. Because if it was up to me, the world wouldn't have any up, and then this whole damn thing would be a disaster, wouldn't it? So, <laughs> the whole hip hop community would be shot to hell. Shot to hell. You would have nothing to copy. <laughs> no, you would have nothing to copy. So <laughs> <that's the cycle. laughs> So talking about Remy, how is she these days? She's good. She's beautiful. She's getting a lot of work done. She's got a yeah, Remy's on her feet right now. She's running right now. Shout out to Remy Ma, man. Good, she was right. great, man. That's one of the things that we were very glad for. Shout out to Big Fun, first of all. Yeah, yeah, because it was, it was really the connection between fame and fun. They, yeah, they, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were good friends. And what happened was, you know, when Pun passed, it, it just seemed like the right thing to do. To but help those, right, right. Remy launch it, and thank God she really took it to the next level, mm -hmm. and and did her thing, and now she's got a great career, and I really appreciate yeah. that. Shout out to Remy Martin, man. Thanks to Pun, uh, Fat Joe, yes, the yes, whole yes. Terror Squad, yeah. DITC, the yeah. whole home team. All the dudes is good, man. Yeah. Did you hear her track against Nicki Minaj? Yeah. What do you think about it? It's a good record. Yeah, it's good. She used the, uh, the Ether beat from Nas. It's a good record. She put it together. The thing about hip hop, period, is it, it should be competitive. So they're, they're going to compete with each other uh, for the top spot or whatever, for whatever reason they compete with each other. And it's going to be good. Two great artists. Yeah. Nikki's a great artist. Nikki's Remy's dope. a great artist. Two great artists. It's good to see. It's healthy. It's healthy competition. Yeah. Long as long as nobody yeah. get hurt, yeah. we're all for it. Keep it on the record. That's yeah, all I'm saying. Keep it on the record. That's it. Or not. Or bust somebody motherfucking head clean up and fuck open. Or <laughs> no, but they're, they're going to be safe. They're women. So they're gonna they're gonna conduct themselves as now, well. Now, now, Remy had to know. Swam on it. I'm sure. I'm, is a, Remy's a grown woman, um, uh, and you know, she she knows how to handle herself in these kind of situations. You know what I mean? So, Shout out to Papoose too. By yeah, the way. yeah, yeah. That's Nikki, the Nikki's a grown woman as well, and she knows how to handle herself. These these women come from really, really. Uh, rough neighborhoods, and to make it this far, they're not going to risk doing anything mm -hmm. stupid. They're going to go ahead, they're going to make their records and go back and forth or whatever, and then hopefully they'll come together. I'm going to buy the first record when they come together. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj reunion record. I'm going to buy that first one. I made the orders right there. Yeah, that's it. That's going to be awesome. So talking about your career and your old records, so what was it like to being at Rockefeller? Rockefeller. Yeah. Rockefeller. Yeah, Rockefeller was dope. I mean, Dame Dad was over there with Dame Dash and Biggs and Jay. Um, the whole, you know, the, the whole uh, crew out of Philly, Beanie, Freeway, all of those dudes. It was good. Man. Yeah, we had fun at Rockefeller. Yeah, yeah, Jim Jones. Yeah, it was a lot of people there, so we had a lot of fun. Ziki, Jewel yeah. Santana. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a beautiful yeah, time. The whole state property crew. Everything, everything was great over there. We got to mingle with them a lot and do a few records, you know, here and there. Not a lot, but we did a few records, a few collaborations with them, so it was good. We had a good time. That was a great moment for hip-hop, a great period for hip-hop. Without Rockefeller, a lot of hip-hop wouldn't be here today the way it was. They taught you a lot about style, fashion, yep. how to live, how to move, how to how to do business. Yep. Those are some good dudes, man. Salute to Dave Dash, Jay-Z, Biggs, the whole crew, Rockefeller, yep. definitely. Salute to them. Yep, yep. Are you still in contact with them these days? All the time! All the time. Yeah. Yeah. We holler, we holler at everybody because, you know, just because the business don't go right or something goes sour with the business doesn't mean 
you can't have some kind of relationship with them. You know what I mean? And that's, that's more about what we do in there. Like we don't, we don't do business with people that we really don't like like that or don't like us. This way it makes the, the business a little easier to, to move forward. You know what I mean? So uh, and in that case, whatever happened, they were going through their little thing. So, uh, but that didn't, that don't that don't take us away from hollering at Jay when we see him or hear from him or hollering at uh, uh, Dan. You know? Is it the same with Chi Unit? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout Fifty calls. Fifty, 50 calls about a couple about about a, about a month ago. Holler at us, man. Just yeah. checking on. Hey, man, how y'all doing, man? I see you out in, in Europe, tearing it down. Yo, a lot of love to to Fifty and the whole G unit, yeah. man. Those are good dudes. That man. whole it was it was kind of the same vibe with with Rockefeller. That whole G unit deal. The the whole crew, Banks, and um, we did like three we did three tours with G unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three three tours. What y'all gotta understand is that these are street dudes that we knew even before the music business. So like when it came down to having relationships with them, the relationship was kind of built more from the street than just the industry. Right. So there was a level of respect there that wasn't just industry record. If you had a hot record, if your record was right. platinum, it didn't matter. I see you on the street, what's up? I got respect for you, I got love for you. And it was right. the same thing back. Right, right. So that's why it worked in both places. And, and, and it still works. I want to know from you guys, do you know some German hip hop or tracks? No, but you can you can definitely let us know. I like, I like to do uh, cool, cool Shabazz. Cool Shabazz? Cool Shabazz. Yeah. Snow Goon. Snow Goon. Love the Snow Goon. Oh, you didn't know the Snow Goon. Yeah, yeah. 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 love the Snow Goon. Shout out to Snow Goon. And what's my man that owns the Black and Tone? Mark Foster? Mark Foster. Love, that's my favorite record right now, Mark Foster. What's the name of uh, the song called again? We call it we, this is what I call it. Yeah. Oom to Blighton. That's all I know. That's all I know. Oom to Blighton. That's all I know. That's all I know. That's all I know. I'm not saying it right. I don't want to jam up your record, but Mark Foster has a That's how we say it. That's the MOP version. Yeah, the MOP remix. MOP remix. Yeah, MOP remix. We definitely will someday once we once we catch up with you, Mr. Mark Foster. Yeah, we call that. Yeah, cool. So how about your private life? What about it? It's private. Yeah, like family. I've heard that you're married. Private like a mom. Yeah, I'm a married man. Yeah, cool. How does it feel being a married man? I'm good. It's more better. I'm more stable. I enjoy it. Shout out to my old lady. Shout out to Francie. What's up, baby? How about you guys? What about you? We've been married so long, we ain't even married no more. You said it is. This is just, I, I just got, homeboy with yeah, boots. I got my homeboy just in the like house. Your homie over there with boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's great. It's great to have a, a real serious relationship. And, and everybody needs somebody, right? We need that. And I That's think, you, are you asking for some other reason? Or are you just asking for <laughs> it start off with like Listen, if you want to put, if you want to put in an application, I can kick that one on the curb right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how about the kids? Could you imagine having kids? Imagine. Yeah, I got, I got. I'm imagine. I'm imagine. I'm imagine the future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all got kids. A shitload. <laughs> Small basketball team. So how many all together? All together, huh? Let me see. Two basketball teams. Yeah. We can run a full court. Almost 15. Almost about 15, maybe. Right 15. <laughs> you run a full court. Like 13 kids all together. All together, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah we, it, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Just in case you wanted to know. That's not bad. That motherfucker's still working. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, but I ain't gonna make you pay for it. You just got to pay for it. You get the first go around for free. <laughs> but after that, it's gonna cost you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But after that, it's gonna cost you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is expensive. But is that why you're touring here? Yeah, yeah, it is expensive. <laughs> it is expensive, but I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, you, you do it for the love. Like, you know, when you have, I'm, I'm, I don't think you have to have children. I do. Okay, so you understand. Yeah. When a person sorry. don't have kids, they don't understand this kind of love. That's true. So it's a total different kind of love. So whatever you got to do, you're going to do it. First family means family first. That's what it's about. Right. Yeah. About the family. So I would say let's spread some love tonight. You go and have your show at the Hill Jam Festival. Yep, Hill Jam. Yeah. Hill Jam. We on our way, baby. We on our way to Hill Jam. It's going to be crazy. Listen, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Don't be waking me up too early in the morning because I don't want breakfast <laughs> until after 7.30. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <It's> 7 <30. laughs> I'll be long anyway. All right, there you go. Thanks. It's great to have you guys. Thank
Thank you, darling. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right.